A group started four years ago to fix the unacceptable rates of child poverty in Cincinnati is being restructured. The Child Poverty Collaborative eliminated one of its programs and its top leadership position. Local 12's Megan Mangello found out why. Since 2015, meetings big and small took place as part of the Child Poverty Collaborative. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley and the Collaborative have a goal of helping 10,000 families get out of poverty in five years. He first announced that four years ago. Last week, he said the five-year clock starts now. This year has really started uh, the work itself. So we're only a couple months in uh, to the five-year timeline. Um, I wish it had moved a little faster, but regardless, we have a broad-based buy-in from all these different sectors. Cranley says they've spent the last four years analyzing and strategizing. They've also restructured. Former Collaborative Executive Director Dr. Karen Bankston stepped down last August. The Collaborative says there are no immediate plans to fill that role. And it eliminated a group called the Employers' Roundtable. Um, because one of the things we learn from you know, those education sessions working with the people in human resources is, you know, they really weren't the decision maker. The decision maker was really the, the chief executive officer or the president. Sister Sally Duffy, a co-chair, says the collaborative has transitioned that work to a new project called the Workforce Innovation Center. The Cincinnati Chamber will help run it and try to get companies to pay a wage that leads to self-sufficiency. Another new initiative is Project Lift. The collaborative is raising $5 million to help 1,000 families by paying for things like car repairs, rent, and more. We're asking the families, what do you need? We're, you know, capitalizing on their resiliency, their agency, you know, um, their strengths. Mayor Cranley vows that now real change will happen for those families living in poverty. So now that work is done and we're the, the rubber is meeting the road with direct interventions this year. Project Lift will be able to fill in the gaps that government services can't. So far, the Child Poverty Collaborative has raised 1.5 of the $5 million it needs. That program was started last month. Back to you.